Hey dudes, Matt V2099 here, and what this is, is a video on the legend of the Glock 1926. Alright, first let's nerd check them. Are we clear? Robert sent me an email the other day asking me, hey dude, will a Glock 19 slide fit on a Glock 26 and vice versa? And I was like, oh, dude, you haven't heard about the legend of the Glock 1926? Heck yeah, it'll work. So let, let's just do that real quick. We nerd checked it. Let's nerd check it again. Okay. A lot of safety nerds watching these videos, you know. They're going to point out everything that uh, they think is unsafe, but really is safe. Okay, so this is a Glock 19 slide, and this is a Glock 26 frame, Gen 4. And let's just put that right on there. Right there is a Glock 19 26. And right here... ...is the other version of the Glock 19 26. Okay, so what we're gonna do is basically just test fire them. So, I have a safety rig here. We're going to do this safely remotely, then I'll dump some clipazine mags in, in half a second. Ghost gun status. What's the point? Why are you going to do this? You know, for operational science, I mean, we have operators in the field that need to have this information. They need to know if you can do this stuff. And they don't have time to do every combination themselves, so, you know, us guys on YouTube are basically, we're scientists, man. So let's try this here, 1926A. So, <laughs> there's our first problem. It won't pick up the round. It won't chamber, chamber the first round of zine. So let's try the other 1926. That one did indeed chamber the round. So this one, we'll just rule this one out. This one doesn't work. You can't chamber. The uh, slide doesn't go back far enough to pick up the next round. See, it goes back this far. So that's a bummer, nerd check. So first thing we're gonna do, we have our really cool uh, remote firing apparatus. To make sure it's safe, we're gonna plug this thing in here and uh, pull the trigger remotely. Make sure we're aiming at our target, yep. Totally aiming at our target. All right, we're gonna step back and fire this thing. Okay, so we ran into an issue. Grab our firearm here, we're gonna drop the clip mag. Drop our... The barrel should be fine in there as long as you get that lock. I'm really not concerned. My problem there is why won't, I, why won't the trigger pull? It, it's needing an excessive amount of um, force to pull that trigger. Okay, let's try this again. We chamber zined. Now we are. Okay, try number two. Let's see if uh, we can get enough force to pull that trigger remotely. Perhaps the trigger went off and nothing happened. Okay, it works. Uh, it, for some reason, it just takes crazy amount of pressure. Okay, so our remote firing apparatus totally sucked and didn't do anything. It just uh, made it extremely hard to pull the trigger. So we'll demonstrate that, uh, see, what's happening here is you have full lockup. Uh, you are in battery. So let's uh, give it a couple shots here. Brass to the face, oh my goodness. Uh, ejection is terrible. Let's see if we can get a brass to the face, brass to the camera. Okay, that was weird. Just. Just slamming the mag in, drop the uh, slide there into place. Oh, brass to the face. That actually kind of hurt. Okay, let's see if we can get a brass to the face. See, I'm blocking it. Oh, that one hit me inside the head. Okay, so this is the ancient um, technique of 
brass to the face blocking. So anyways, that was a pretty quick demonstration of the old Glock 1926. It totally works. If you can handle brass to the face, uh, this is your gun. I suggest you carry two of them at all times. This is probably the best concealed carry weapon of all time. It's basically a Glock 19, but concealable like a Glock 26. So anyways, Matthew out. Thanks for watching. Thank you for watching. If you made it this far, I would love to hear what you have to say in the form of a comment. Let me know what you thought of the video and tell me what other types of videos you would like to see. And if you want to drop a like or a dislike, that's also huge and I would appreciate it. Thank you and that be out. Are we clear? Are we clear? Alright, nerd checked.